objects, ray diagrams, uh, and so on. Right. So let's have a refraction and just remind ourselves about refraction. So remember, the key part of refraction is to remember your very first experiment, the Snell's law experiment, and know how light passes through the block, because that's your memory aid all the time. That's your memory aid. Okay. So we just draw it up here. Okay. So remember what happened? The light ray was coming in. It was refracted towards the normal, and it was refracted away from the normal. Okay. You have to remember that guy. You have to. Okay. And remember actually that the, the incoming ray and the emerging ray are parallel. Okay. Remember you have that idea too. But the important thing here is going from a less dense to a more dense medium, light ray is refracted towards the normal, from a more dense to a less dense away from the normal. Or also, and we look at this when we do the, the lesson on interference, diffraction, and refraction of waves, okay. Uh, also, going from the faster medium to the slower medium it is refracted towards the normal. That will become clear in the next lesson. Okay, that's important. Fastest, the faster medium to slower medium towards the normal, slower to faster away from the normal. That's important. Okay, less dense to more dense. So the two of those, think of the two of those. Okay, so that's the key point, right? From that then, let's go through lenses. Let's very briefly look at lenses and we'll have a look at uh, actually drawing the radar in a minute. Okay, if we take this scenario, if I remember, okay, if we treat a lens like a prism and a block okay and I'm going to say light ray is true okay if it comes in at 90 degrees it goes straight through remember so that's it okay here coming in like this draw your normal at 90 degrees refracted towards the normal normal at 90 degrees refracted away from the normal going from less dense or, sorry more dense to less dense or slower to faster and there you go Okay, same down here, light ray in, draw your normal at 90 degrees, it's going from uh, less dense to more dense, refracted towards the normal, going from more dense to less dense, refracted away from the normal, and you get your, your slide, okay? So that's effectively how, that's effectively how we look at how a, a light ray, a converging lens refracts light towards the, towards the, um, the, the focal point okay we look at that in a minute uh, on paper okay we'll have a quick look at those again but just to have the idea that you're able to draw the path of light through any materials just following that rule okay it's simple as that okay and the only time light where it bends is when it's going from one medium to a different medium when it's inside in the glass it travels away in straight lines when it's out here it's traveling in straight lines okay that's the that's the other important point to make about it okay that's it right that's basically what we're dealing with okay the other thing I want to look at on this okay is the idea of total internal reflection uh, critical angle and so on following on from this so we'll have a look at that now one second we'll just... okay so you've looked at this many times but let's one more look at it okay so we're going from glass let's say to air from a more dense to a less dense medium we know light it's the bottom of the glass block light has been refracted away from the normal okay we've three cases okay three cases so the first case, the angle of incident in the glass is much less, okay? The angle of incident in the glass is much less than the critical angle, okay? Light rays refracted away from the normal, but the refracted ray is still less than 90. So that's the incident ray, that's the, or the angle of incident, angle of refraction. But remember, there is always a very weak reflected ray and the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection of the basic law of reflection. This uh, is usually, okay, about 5%, okay, about 5% of the light, about 95% of the light. That's the story when you look at just, you look out a window, most of the light is refracted, you see outside the window, but some, you, you see a, a reflected uh, image of yourself as well, just to keep you looking, looking good. Right, okay. Obviously, as I increase the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction is going to get bigger and eventually it's going to come to this critical angle, really important angle, called the critical angle. And that's the angle of incidence when the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. And obviously that's the case from below the angle of incidence, light gets out, above the angle of incidence, it doesn't get out. So this is the critical angle, okay? All right, so we have our critical angle, angle of refraction 90. Remember, there is still a weak reflected ray. Okay, so that's the angle of incidence. And that is the critical angle. 
Okay, the definition, just remember the definition and talk your way through it. The angle of incidence in the denser medium corresponding to an angle or a fraction of 90 degrees in the less dense medium. Voila, always draw the diagram with it. Okay, if you're asked to define critical angle. Final one then is when you go beyond the critical angle. Okay, and this is where people get caught. It's not a case that the refractive rate just goes a little bit beyond. It's now that we have total internal reflection. So I greater than C, it's all reflected. Okay, it's all reflected. Okay, and it all stays in the in the block in the glass. That's it. Okay, so that's your idea. Okay, of total internal reflection and critical angle. Okay, now there are two uh, diagram, two drawings that we need from that. Okay, we need to look at uh, ref reflection of light using a prism. Okay, and we need to look at optical fiber. So we're going to look at that now, finally, on the board, and then we're going to look at ray the other ray diagrams on paper in a minute. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Okay, we have uh, we have our two prisms, and we have a length of optical fiber. Okay, all glass, right? The triangular prism. So let's look at this one. It's going to send the light ray right through here. Okay. At right angles, straight in, hits this here. Okay, so now it's very simple geometry. And the only angle you're going to be writing down is 45. That's 45, a 45 degree prism. We put it on normal at 90. Okay, look at this triangle. That's 45, 90. So that must be 45. So this angle here must be 45. The critical angle is 41 for glass. So 45 is greater than the critical angle. Total internal reflection occurs. Total internal reflection occurs, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection, so the angle of reflection is also 45, and we go down here, okay, and straight down and out at right angles, okay. So you've turned the light through 90 degrees by, by sending your light ray in the short face, one of the short faces, it goes out one short face in the other short face, okay. Remember, it's off the back here, okay, people make a mistake of reflecting it off this or something like that. It, it should make sense to you, okay, following what comes be, went before. This should all follow through one step by step by step, okay? Second scenario, okay, we want it through 90 degrees. So what we do is we send it in the long face, okay? At 90 degrees again, once again, okay, so that's 90, that's 45. I suppose we should put those in there as well. Okay, that's 45 degree prism. This is 45 again. Okay, we draw our normal. Okay, total internal reflection occurs. That's 45 again. Angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. Okay, total internal reflection occurs across half of this direction. That's 45. We're drawing 45 all over the place. That's 45. That's 45. Okay, all right. Okay, so therefore when it hits the normal here, okay, the angle of incidence is again 45. Total internal reflection occurs again. Sorry, wrong, wrong color. Okay, and that's 45. And you have reflected light through, nine, through 180 degrees. You just have to practice drawing these. Okay, and remember, the this works because the critical angle is 41. If this was water, critical angle is 48. Won't work. Okay, it won't work. That's the bottom line. Okay, so that's it. How does light pass through optical fibers? You want to keep your signal in the optical fiber. Okay, so all you have to do is make sure that the angle of incidence is always, and you underline always, greater than the critical angle, and total internal reflection always occurs. Okay, that's the bottom line. So we come in here, so we draw our light ray in, hits the normal at an angle greater than the critical angle. Angle of incidence greater than the critical angle. Okay, and if you think about it from your alternate angles, you always knew they'd come in handy, okay, and they, they come in handy here as well as elsewhere, okay. You have this angle, it's greater than critical angle, total internal reflection of course, that's alternate with this. Angle greater than critical angle against the same angle, total internal reflection of course, and so on and so on, as long as you have parallel, you have uh, parallel sides, which of course you would, okay. So that's now the basics, okay, so you need to be able to know your Snell's Law diagram, be able to apply that to, to, to sending light through lenses and prisms and things like that. Be able to take the special case of the two prisms. Be able to take your special case of your optical fibre. And before that, obviously, to understand how critical angle operates, total time reflection operates. The only way to revise this stuff, piece of paper, sketching away and talking away through it. Okay, there'll be more now on paper and then we'll see where we go with calculations.